Uh, welcome boys and girls to this adventurous class today. We are the early birds class and we have an adventurer here who is going to help us to go through our lesson for this week. So today we are going to first start by introducing ourselves and then we will go on to do the classes. Please introduce yourself. My name is Hadassah Chepneno B. My name is Brenda B. And my name is Geoffrey B. This is my, we are one family. Uh, at this point, I would like Hadassah B to pray for us before we start the lesson. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for that we are going to start this lesson. In Jesus' name, pray. Amen. Thank you so much for the prayer, Hadassah. This lesson is lesson number seven and it's talking about our family. Boys and girls, I thank you so much because many of you have been at home for such a long time and I know that many of you have spent so much time with your parents, your aunties, your uncles and your daddies. So this week, again, as we do our lesson seven, I'm going to invite you to do some activities that will help us learn more about our family. But before we do that, I'm going to ask Hadassah again to help us do the adventurous song, the law and the pledge. Hadassah, please. Jesus can help me to be obedient, be pure, be true, be kind, be respectful, be attentive, be helpful, be cheerful, be thoughtful, be reverent. Be because Jesus loves me, I will always do my best. We are adventurers at home, at school, at play. We are adventurers. We are learning every day to be honest, kind, and true, to be like Jesus, true and true. We are adventurers. Boys and girls, now that we have done our adventurous song, our adventurous law and pledge, let's go back to our lesson. Our lesson, as we have said this day, is about our family. But as we go to our family, I want us to do a basic skill for our children. This skill is very fun for them to do and it's good for them to learn. And I would like Hadassah to demonstrate how she does it. So this skill, parents, it will require you to buy a balloon for your child and you would let them balance it 10 times without falling. So at this point, I would like Hadassah to show us how to balance her balloon without falling 10 times. Wow, that was fun, boys and girls. Boys and girls, you saw how uh, the father of Hadi and Hadassah were playing, but trying to balance the balloon. So I encourage you parents to find some fun activities you can do with your children during this time when we are at home and we have so much time with them. In the Adventurers Club, we encourage fun activities and we also encourage reading the Bible. Now, as we go into our lesson today, we are going to start with a lesson about friendship. We know that friends are, um, are a blessing to us. We know that friends help us when we need. 
friends are kind to us, friends are loving. So I'm going to ask Hadassah, who is your best friend? Okay, we have our friends who are so helpful to us. They are kind, they are loving. And sometimes boys and girls, when we fall down, our friends are there to help us. They are there to play with us. They are there to have fun with us. So I'm going to ask Hadassah, who are your best friends at home? My best friend is Vanessa. Yes. Yes. Nikisha. Yes. Jerry. Yes. Thank yes. you so much, Hadassah. Ayana. Good. Those are very good friends of Hadassah. I know, boys and girls, you two have your friends at home who you play with, who you are kind to. We also have some Bible friends. Tell us some of the Bible friends you know. David was the friend of Jonathan. Yes, wow. David and Jonathan were great friends, boys and girls. We also have Jesus. Did Jesus have friends? Yes. Okay, tell us some of the friends that Jesus had. James, John, yes. and yeah, those are some of the friends that Jesus had. Jesus had 12 special friends and then he had many, many friends because Jesus is a friend to everyone. Boys and girls, at this time, I'm going to ask your parents to help you do some of the activities which are related to this lesson. And right here with me, I have the Adventurer's Activity Book. And this activity book is for the early birds class. And this week, we are going to do activity on the, uh, an activity on page 10, page 11, and page 21. So let me just open to those pages and show you exactly what you're required to do. Boys and girls, from the activities, as I have told you, we are going to do activity on page 10, as you can see. And on page 10, it is the creation story. And we know this creation story starts from the book of Genesis. And after uh, you're going to look at the pictures and then you're going to say on which day the creation in the picture was created so as you have seen we have been been able to number that on this day god created the light and the darkness on this day two it was created the sky and the land on day three we can see that god created the vegetation and on day four we see that god created the sun the moon the stars and then on day five we see that God created the fish and the birds that fly in the air. And on day six, God created the animals which walk on land and he created Adam and Eve. And then on day seven was a special day. God created the heaven, God created the Sabbath where we rest and keep it holy. And um, another activity we are going to do parents guide your children on page 11 to look at the animal on the left side and to see which home god made for it and now here we can see that a fish lives in water we can see where the dog lives we can see where the cow lives we can also see where the bird lives so guide your children to circle the correct um home for the animal which you can see on the side and now i'll go over to page 21 which is our last activity for the activity section and we can see there are some birds here so guide your child to write the number of the birds they can see you can see hadassah was able to count and this is one bird so she wrote and you can also see here can also see the number is written here so parents please guide your children to do these activities as we continue with the lesson boys and girls from our activities we've seen that we are doing the activity on page 10 
page 11 and page 21. And in particular, you have noticed that all those activities are pointing us to something that God created. God was, we have seen what God created on day one up to day seven. And we have been told that this creation story comes from the book of Genesis. Now, Hadassah is going to help the adventurers to name the first five books of the Bible where we can find these stories and many other stories about the family. So Hadassah, please tell us the first five books of the Bible. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Thank you so much, Hadassah. This is where we can find many stories about what God created and how God made families and how families uh, went and became very great families. And boys and girls, at this point, I want to introduce the award for this lesson. Uh, parents, awards are those things that we help our children to do on their own. We encourage the children to do these awards in order for them to learn a particular skill. And at the end of it, as the Adventurers Club, we give them uh, an award which represents them completing that particular activity. So for this lesson, our activity is about one of God's creation. And this creation is birds. So like birds fly, like I see, fl I saw birds flying. Yes. And we are told birds were created on which day we were? We are day five. Day five. That is excellent. We know that birds and fish were created on day five. So today, I'm going to show you how to make your own bird. You can color it, parents. You can draw for your child a bird and color it. Or you can go to the internet and get a printout and have your child coloring it. Or you can decide to be more creative and even go ahead and make a bird out of anything you want if it's clay if it's um if it's out of paper you can do anything that will enable your child to complete this particular award at this point i'm just going to share with you what hadassah has been able to do in regards to this award mm. So boys and girls, as I told you, I was able to draw a bird for Hadassah and she was able to color it so beautifully. And Hadassah also drew the baby bird, which she also colored very beautifully. Boys and girls, you can also do this at home. Mummies and daddies, you can draw for your child the bird or you can print out the bird as I said. You can also get the modeling clay and do the activity so that we can be able to award the child after they have done these activities. Parents, I want to remind you that once you do the activities of the award, I would like you to take a picture and send to your teachers in their respective classes and we will be able to assess the activity as having been completed. Thank you.